Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony Ann and in today's video I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup brands that start with the letter T. This just turned into a two full face of Too Faced but I've never used a brand so it will be full first impression so if you want to see what I think then just continue watching. I'm all primed and ready to go. I didn't get the Too Faced primer because I had to buy everything else so it turned into an expensive video. <laughs> so there'll be a little few things here and there that I'm missing but majority is Too Faced. Disclaimer. <laughs> so I am going to start with the foundation. The Born This Way one in Chai. Let's see what they claim. It's hydrated, long wearing, photo friendly, and non comedom. <laughs> Comedogenic? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I noticed that everything from Too Faced looks very bougie, so it fits my fantasy. Like, <laughs> three pumps on my hand. Two and three. Always I start with my chin. Ooh, okay. Well, you can definitely see it's hydrating. Yeah, my skin still looks like skin, which I like. So it's always nice to try something new. Okay, that's a nice finish there. You can still see my skin. So I may just get one more pump just to hide a few of my blemishes a bit more. That's not bad, it's really melted into my skin. Next we'll go into concealer. I'm not sure why I did it, did base first, but I really wanted to see if the foundation was good. I'm usually an eyebrow and eye sort of person, but I'm hoping there won't be too much fallout. So this is the concealer in chestnut. I've heard this is full, full coverage. Super coverage it says, okay. Huge do my usual technique I've been doing recently. So a little bit at the front and a little bit at the side. I put it right on the eye, I meant to put it a bit lower. <laughs> but I'll blend it out. But it says full super coverage, so I should be able to blend it out now and still keep some of it. Yeah. I did end up leaving it for a little bit because I dropped the brushes, but wow. I'm blending it out and it's not going sheer, which is amazing. I could hide my deepest, darkest secrets under this concealer. Look at that. Wow. They didn't lie. And I did go in a little bit conservatively. <laughs> Genuinely impressed by that. Like it looks like I'm concealed, but at the same time it doesn't, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to powder, which is, I didn't get the Too Faced one because I saw mixed reviews on that and no i'm not risking my money on that so i'm just going to set and then come back okay so that's the under eye set in doing this challenge i did think that i could have got the tarte shape tape concealer like i know everyone raves about that and i've never tried it but i'm glad that i chose this one because it looks really good okay so the dark chocolate Sule long wear matte bronzer. Look how dark it is in the box, and then even the packaging so dark. That's the color of the actual bronzer. I'm hoping it will do something, but just to help it out a bit, I'm gonna reverse contour under here with my face powder. I wanted to go all out and get everything, but then I looked at the basket price and I was like, no. <laughs> I apply a generous amount because that looks very light. There you go. Okay, bronzer, I tried to help you out. If you don't show up, it's on you, sweetie. I do like all the packaging. I really do like, and it does smell like hot chocolate. I 
I feel like it's trying to do something. <laughs> I think what's helping it out is the undertone of it. Like the actual shade is still a bit light. Let me clean this mirror off. I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, okay, I won't lie, it is doing something. I am being pretty generous with the application to be fair. It has sort of like a reddish undertone, which I didn't expect actually. So I just wish it was a richer brown as well. Because I can use this, which I'm very happy with because I don't remember how much it was, but I would have been very upset <laughs> if I couldn't use it. Okay, do a bit on my nose. Okay, you can see it on my nose, definitely. Okay, yeah, he did something. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my face powder and tap that under my eye. That's better, yeah. A lot better. I feel like I can see it, or am I just willing myself to see it? You be the judge. <laughs> Add a bit more to my forehead. My forehead and my nose usually tell me whether a product is doing well, whether a bronzer is showing up or not. Yeah, definitely. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, it's looking like a very natural face. I wasn't expecting that, especially because everything, maybe it's my application, but everything said that it's so full coverage. Um, because I'm so powdery, I'm going to set my fluffy setting spray. I didn't get the hangover setting spray. I've heard good things about it though. Next, I'm going to go into blush. I got the Papa Don't Peach. It's so cute, it's such a cute name. I really don't like the smell of this. <laughs> like I know everyone said it smells like peach, but it smells like gone off jam jammy dodgers. Or just ja jammy dodgers. That's what it gives me. Yeah, it gives me jammy dodgers smell. But let's see if it shows up. It has a bit of sheen to it, and I don't really use blushes that have sheen. I have, but see how it looks. I try not to because my skin is dry and I feel like shimmery blushes highlight that. Highlight the texture of my skin. Yeah, I feel like it's giving me that natural sort of flush that I do like. Oh, I'm so happy so far, I like everything. Because you see what I mean about my texture is showing up a bit. But because my skin is dry, my texture shows up anyway, so it's not something I will blame on the blush. Yeah, it's not bad. I like the fact that it's in a tin as well. Yeah, I really like the packaging. They've got that down. The shades can be debated. I'm not gonna highlight yet because I've totally forgotten about this portion of my face. So I'm gonna do the brows. I got the chocolate brownie in dark brown the eyebrow pencil it's basically like the bougie version of my revolution duo um pencil so it has that side with the product and the spoolie do your brow i haven't heard anything about this brow product like um from Too Faced this is also scented I'm not sure why you would want a scented eyebrow pencil, but it's just to go along with the chocolate theme, I guess. It's very hard. My duo brow pencil from Makeup Revolution is a bit softer, but I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. It's hard. You just press down and it goes on quite easily. It's not scraping against my face, so hopefully that will mean it won't break as easily. And it's a deep colour, well, deep enough dark brown. Because you know sometimes you get a dark brown and it's not really a dark brown. It's a lot more ashy. That's not bad at all. Hopefully I can get my brows to match. <laughs> you see the sheen? That's from the... What, this will totally be my fault. Not even the brow pencil. 
because it's so precise. It's very dark. <laughs> I'm going to get my brow gel to neutralize the color a bit more and I'm just going to get a tiny brush and conceal around them. But yeah, I'm still going to conceal but I'm going to use a tiny brush. Let me go in with the concealer. I'm glad I chose the shade I did as well. I just followed what Jackie Aina said that she used but I can definitely see why because it's so full coverage as well if i'd gone lighter it would have looked crazy yeah like look at that it's not so you can do your brows last if you don't with this concealer you can get away with it okay and then i'm going to conceal over the top i may just use the foundation to do that i've been literally waiting all week to do this video <laughs> Because I was waiting for the eyebrow pencil and the lipstick to arrive. It took forever. Yes, yeah, so I just used the foundation to conceal the top. And then I'm going to do it on the other side as well. I hope this match. Yeah, that's not bad. Because my brows go grow in quite differently, one always looks a bit darker than the other. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah gonna blend this out before it dries with my foundation brush blend it in. very nice okay so I like the brow product too <laughs> so for the eyes I am going for my base I think I should use the concealer again the chestnut I'll use the doe for this time so far I'm not seeing too much creasing around the mouth usually I would have to set around the mouth it will start to crease into my laugh lines and stuff but this is really creamy that you can it's very easy just to do it with a finger usually i would use a brighter base than this for my eyes if you watch my other videos and you know that and i won't lie this is the real reason i wanted to do this video i've been looking at this palette and been trying to find a reason to get it this is so gorgeous it's beautiful and I'm not even a neutral type of girl but ooh, mm. <laughs> so I'm really liking the skin right now all right so I tried to film this eye and let's move on <laughs> I'm going to just show you guys how I do it on this eye and we'll <laughs> yeah. So I started with truffle and I'm just applying it like it's liner. Look how dark that is. Isn't it gorgeous? Ugh. Love me a deep dark brown. But I will say for this, make sure you have powder down if you do it after your base like I did because it got everywhere and I'm just wigging that out it doesn't have to be neat right now because we'll clean up okay yeah so that's truffle and then I started with coca in the crease area this was supposed to be my transition shade but it's a bit darker than it looks in the pan that's coca and then look how it goes on my eye And then because this was a bit darker than I thought it was, I went in to maple. I used that as a transition shade to blend it out. And I'm blending it all the way up into my eyebrows. This is why I don't film in the f daytime, you know. What is that? Then I'm going to go back into coca and blend that into maple I'm just gonna go back and forth with these two shades until I'm happy with the blend this car alarm is just ringing and it hasn't stopped I stopped and it keeps coming back on now it's stopped and then I'm gonna go in to nude and apply that on my 
lid shade I found that it's better to tap it in rather than try and I'm just applying it in the shape of like a cut crease but you can just cut the crease and then apply this color on top but I just wanted to see how these colors would layer I'm then gonna go into the brush that I use for cocoa or coca and blend around that blend around nude make sure that we don't lose cocoa and then I'm going to go back into the brush I use for maple and blend around that. And back into nude, the lid colour, and tap that back into place. And don't worry about me messing up truffle, I will go back into that a bit later. Going back into truffle, and I'm just going to add um, this colour right here. And I'm just going to add a bit of it to the outer corner. before I go back in and blend it out on my lash line again and all the way down to where my tear duct is blending and smoking it out as I go along take it out a bit further like that don't worry I'm going to clean up that area anyway and then just to get rid of that harshness right there I'm going to go into the brush that I use for coca and blend the outer corner. I'm going to add a bit more of nude on this side because it's kind of disappeared a bit. I'm back into truffle again and just blend it out to the inner tear duct. I'm going in with the brush that I use for maple and just blend it out the outer corner. Well, the whole area of where I just put nude, make it look a bit more seamless like that, yeah. We'll do the same on this side. This side is slightly bigger than the other, so I'll go back in with nude again on this side and bring it up a bit higher. See, if anyone asks me again why I don't do a lot of neutral looks is because they take a lot longer because you have to be so precise because you're using a variations of neutrals and if it doesn't look right it looks horrible <laughs> just gonna put a tiny bit of concealer on this brush and believe me this is a godsend it's the AO9 it saved this eye because I was ready to throw it in the bin. <laughs> well, just rub it off. So I'm going to use this brush to clean up the liner. Right, look at that. Saviour. <laughs> just going to use one of my fingers to blend it out. And even if you mess up a little bit like I just did, it doesn't matter because we're going to do the lower lash line now. And I just go into truffle again and then smoke that out on the lower lash line. Because this is such a dark brown, I started to look very much like a panda. But I'll show you what to do. Okay, and I'm going to go into the brush that I used for coca. And not adding anything at first and I'm just gonna blend out the lower lash line just to soften it a bit then I'm gonna add some cocoa to the brush this side's slightly darker so I add a bit more truffle I'm just gonna stamp it in I use for maple and add a little bit of maple and just go below and blend just going to add the liner to my inner tear duct i really wish that i had like a dark brown liner but it still works and don't poke yourself in the eye <laughs> while it's still wet i'm gonna blend it into truffle at the top and at the bottom okay i'm gonna add some lashes and then i'll be right back i law at jordan woods in la baby 
we just have two more steps left. I have the high, the diamond light highlighter. This packaging is everything. Oh, it's gorgeous. Canary diamond. I didn't realize it was so pink when I bought it online, but it's fine. It will go along with the blush quite well. The longer I have this blush on, the more I don't like it. <laughs> but let's see how I feel about the highlighter. It's got, ooh, it's very glittery. It's pretty. But yeah, it's glitter. <laughs> yeah, it's more glitter than highlight, but I do like the look. It's one of those highlights that you can't over blend, otherwise you'll have glitter all over your face, but I like it. It claims it's supposed to be rose gold, but it just looks very pink to me. It looks like, it makes your skin look wet, I like that. I'm gonna use the blush brush just to blend it out a bit. Go be careful because as I said, it's glitter. Don't think this one has a scent. No, it doesn't have a scent. Just to help it last a bit longer, I'm gonna blend that setting spray into my skin. So I plan to do a wear test today. Okay, finally, lips. I'm using the Melted Matte in Drop Dead Red. I thought if I was gonna go quite neutral with the eye, I had to bring in a bit of color. Love a bit of color, I do. So, ooh, and it's deep. Okay, well, from the packaging, we'll see. Like, I wear matte lips every now and again, but not without applying a gloss on top most of the time. Ooh, it's very opaque and I haven't even dipped in um, again yet. Hopefully it doesn't look squiggly line -ish. It started to dry down but it's not an uncomfortable fat and it's also layering quite well as well, the second coat. If like me you're not the best at lip application and you think you've got squiggly line -ish. I'm gonna go back into my favourite brush right now, <laughs> the A09. And just go around. I'm just using the excess concealer that was still on the brush. Usually I would use um, my foundation color. What I would advise is if you have a lip brush, go in with the color. If you don't have a lip liner, go in with the color with that lip brush and line first and then fill in. So you don't have to do all that I did. I highlighted everything so just gonna set one more time so if this face doesn't last well then I've finished my face now and it is 12.39 so let's say I'll start the wear test from now with everything complete and set. So let's say from 12.40 now, and then I'll come back many hours later. I'm hoping to do eight hours keeping it on, just to see how it would last a full day. So here's it done, freshly done. And then I'll be back to show you how it lasts. I'm back eight hours later. It is now 8.41 and this is what I look like. I think it held up really well. But yeah, let's go product by product. I'll start with the foundation. I really enjoy it and considering it's a hydrating foundation as well, I didn't find it to, that like, it didn't shift around my face like I'm used to with a hydrating foundation. Bar, let's say my chin, everywhere else, I feel like it held up really well. Concealer, this is my favourite thing, well one of my favourite things that I use today. I think this is going to definitely be put in 
rotation like I'm definitely going to use this a lot especially as I don't have to use much and the coverage is full like <laughs> really really good eyebrow pencil I don't know why it's scented that's my only issue of it it's not really an issue but I'm just like it's a bit weird that it's scented I don't know who thought of that but yeah it's fine I think it's a little bit harder than I'm used to but I found that it made the process a bit quicker so I'll definitely use this again because I do like me a good eyebrow pencil and I've been using my promade recently and I'd like go, to go back home back to my eyebrow pencil so I'll definitely use that again bronzer now when I was putting it on I felt like I wasn't seeing it but now I see it <laughs> I feel like the colour may be fine, but the pigment may not be there. Because when I was putting it on, I was quite heavy handed. So I did see it in my pictures, but I don't know. I'll try it again and see what I think. Because I'm, I'm not sure if it's a pigment thing or a shade thing, but this is the darkest shade they have in this bronzer to my knowledge so so at least it was buildable so I could at least see it on my face highlight this from the packaging made it one of my favorites straight away but when I saw it was so pink and so glittery I was like no <laughs> but it really doesn't look as glittery and as pink as it did when I first put it on like even outside it just had like that natural sort of sheen so I'm not sure what that's about but I really enjoyed this so it will definitely be used by me again and it definitely is one of my favorites that I used I wasn't expecting to say that and it has good lasting power as well it's still quite powerful after eight hours which is really cool <laughs> so yeah I like this blush okay this one right here is my least favorite I don't like the smell I don't because especially as it's warm right now I would never touch a shimmery blush right now I, I'm not sure I feel like I will get more use out of it if I use it as a highlight like a colored highlight to be honest even then I don't know if the pigment will be strong enough to be a highlight maybe yeah so I'll try it as a highlighter but I don't think I will use it again as a blush because I think it just emphasised all my texture. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it but I feel like all of this here was not there. Or even if it was there it wasn't as apparent as it is now. Like even my little sister said to me what's all those like <laughs> little spots and stuff there. And it's just all my texture jumping out. The fact that it was a very dry and hot day today. And I was out in the sun. But, yeah. I'm not liking what's going on here. So, this is a no for me. I wish there was a matte version of it. Because I think the colour was quite nice. Like, it gave me a nice flush. So, maybe if I use it, I'll use a bit less. The lip uh, and... I love me a dark lip and it really lasts well because I ate more than once and it's just here that the colour um, kind of faded a bit but it would because it's the wettest part of your mouth anyway but I feel that the lasting power, like look at my top lip, is still there. Like the lasting power is there. I really want to put like <laughs> some powder on my face because I'm looking at myself and so shiny and then last but not least the eyeshadow palette oh yeah I forgot to talk about the concealer as an eye base as you can see the eyeshadow hasn't broken up or anything and it's still very much intact because me with my hooded eyes shadow at this side of my eye sometimes breaks up and crumbles depending on what base I use as well. It's just right here usually is where I get my issues and I haven't had any of those issues today. But yeah, the eyeshadow palette, 
I will obviously have to try it again, but the pigment is there. Let me open it so you can see the pretty palette again. Like the pigment is definitely there and the colours are darker than they are in the palette. I think that's what was stopping me from getting it was that some of the colours look really light that I thought the only colours I could use were this and this and the shimmer shades. I didn't think there was much range basically in the palette when I looked at it but in person I feel that it does really show up and it will be a palette that I will use again happily. I haven't tried any of the shimmers out yet so I'll make sure I do that in another video. But yeah, I really enjoy the palette. I'm very happy I got it, finally. Um, yeah, so that's my thoughts on everything I use. So I'll say my top three products would be the... Ooh, it's hard. Okay, so it's definitely the concealer and the lipstick. The highlighter was a surprise, so I, I guess the highlighter would be in my top five, not my top three. I'm going to group the foundation and the concealer together as one, so that's one, two, and then three, which would be the palette. And it's not really a surprise to me, I like deep colours and these worked well and I really wanted this, so the other things that I used I will try them again and see if I like them but yeah so here is the full makeup challenge done so all my face using makeup brands starting with tea as well as a full face first impressions <laughs> of Too Faced including a wear test it's taken literally taken all day <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video please let me know if you want me to do another one so let me know what one you would want me to do if you want me to do another one and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you next time bye <laughs>